don't know if there is any competition with the eye machines right now. It seems like Komatsu is kind of leading that charge. The speed that we got it done and the accuracy we got it done, I guess I was shocked, kind of like in awe. I do talk about it a lot and how it's benefited my company. Any machine I buy is going to be a Komatsu machine. The technology is here for you to utilize. Take advantage of it. It's one of the greatest aha moments when they do realize not only does it work, but it's going to make them a lot more money. I can say right now, almost 100% of every demo that has gone out has turned into a rental. Usually, if there's not an eye machine on site, they ask where it's at. <laughs> that seems the first thing I hear. The biggest is just accuracy and the time saving. Once you hit that auto button on the x and you go dig, it's done. The eye machines that we get from Komatsu are really accurate. I think we're running probably on an average of 30% more productivity than before. We saw it instantly, how fast and accurate it was. There's probably been some cases where it's probably seen double production in just the general day-to-day -day operations. These machines are designed specifically for the integration of the GPS components. We knew it was gonna be something big. They're gonna be the way everybody's gonna have their machines in the future. The introduction of the 360i and the 490i, the intelligent excavators, uh, has been groundbreaking. Having that guidance in the semi-automatics has really changed the scope of GPS out there in the construction industry. They've taken that operator that's been a, a good operator or, or a guy that's new to the piece of the equipment and we can turn them into a great operator. You can't overcut. You put that thing in automatic, it, it's not gonna let you cut your little subgrade or bottom of trench. Digging with the 360 and getting it down to grade, and you're looking at efficiency and longevity of machines, we can dig faster, more accurately, and just have the dozer shoot over at the end of the day for an hour and trim things up. You're not having any over digs on the footing excavation. If there's a detailed footing where there's a lot of step footings involved, that's been a huge advantage with having an eye machine for that. We had a PC490, and he actually excavated the whole ditch out with that machine. And as they were going, they showed up with you know, a handful of dozers, thinking they'd need all this equipment to shape up this ditch. And when they started going, they realized they had too much iron. So they got a little D51i, and he just had to scrape the crumbs on the sides, and then it was done. Right now, I just lease the eye excavators, and then that way I have the flexibility of, of having all different sizes at my fingertips. I can bid a job that's big and know that Kamasu has the, the equipment in their yard that they can lease to me for the project. We could go out and buy any machine we want, but product support is where it's at. After you get it to your job site, that's when it matters. just not installing components on a machine, it's helping our customers do projects from beginning to end. My experiences with Neil and the GPS technology that we've brought on board has been a catalyst for my company's growth. The transition's been great. I guess we've outgrown the, the GPS for dummy stage. The support getting us there has been awesome. They spent a lot, a lot of time with us. Once we learned and saw what we could do with them, the intimidation went away. One of the greatest things we can see is when a customer like Kevin, who is new to GPS and machine control, quickly learns how it's going to help his business and then expands on it. One of the training services we provide is ongoing throughout the year, so customers can come to our site and have classroom training or field training. So the more everyone knows, the better off that site will be. My goal, and I think that smart construction goal, is to get our customers up to 100% so that they are fully using the capability of the machines. Neil is there to help us every day. It's a great relationship. Uh, we're extremely happy. Being able to call his cell phone direct, and we've used him numerous times where he has to show up on the job site, you know, 10, 15 minutes after we called him. Everything he does for us is, is on a personal basis.
they've always been there and stood behind the product. That's the biggest thing with Kamasu that I've been happy with since my first machine. It's a great partnership. It's exactly what a smaller company like me needed was to have the support of a large corporation that had resources far beyond what I was capable of providing. Neil has this personality that he's able to teach the GPS technology, not just to me, but to my crew, which is what's really important. We want them to learn, not just us show up and do it for them. We want them to learn systems and be efficient and do it the right way. With any site project, the setup getting started is critical. GPS, it's even more so critical to get that job site tied in and localized for the 3D modeling for the machines and the rovers to grade. You're only as good as the information you get. If you get bad data, it's not going to work as good, but if you get great data, then it operates in the machine perfectly. Instead of working off a one-year, ten-year-old, five-year-old surveys, you know exactly what you got. Job progression and knowing where you are during a site is critical. So offering 3D mapping services is a very important piece for a contractor. With the advent of drones and the technology now, we'll expedite that, allow us to fly a site faster and get that same data to the customer quicker. We did a drone flight on a big project that we had to move about 40,000 cubic yards of dirt. We compared that data that we collected and realized that there was about 6,000 cubic yards of earth that was in addition and uh, used that information for a change order on the project. It really did help him find that mistake in the engineering and the bid documents to help him on the back end of the job. You're not doing any overages, you're not having any shortages anywhere. You're pushing your dirt once or your product once, you're not pushing it twice across the site trying to make up for a different product. The whole concept of Smart Construction is we're here to help. Smart Construction goes beyond intelligent machine control. So it gives us the ability to support a customer and provide solutions and resources they may not have had before with the competition. Now it works good for my company. I think that's what they wanted to do is be able to put the technology that was reserved for larger companies into the hands of the smaller companies. The product support's the biggest thing with Kamasu. They've always been there, stood behind us. It's been a great company to work with. They work, you know, they do what you need them to do. We know what they can do, we know what they can produce, how they stand up in our elements where we live. That is why I'm Kamatsu.